How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe of course if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all, hit that bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on my channel. And in this review we're going to be talking about the movie Skyline. As always we'll be talking about positives and negatives and giving you guys my final review score of this movie. And with that, let's jump right in. So Skyline is an alien invasion movie that came out in 2010. It is rated PG-13. It's about an hour and 40 minutes long. And me personally, this is one of my personal favorite science fiction movies. One of my favorite alien invasion movies of 2010 and of all time. Um, I know this movie has a lot of problems. It has a lot of issues. Still to this day, a decade plus later, I don't understand why people hate hate on this movie. Now, now I don't really say hate a lot when I review films, but this film gets a lot, a lot of hate. And I don't understand that. I mean, when I watched this film to do this review, I had to put on my critic glasses, as I call them. I had to shut off the fact that I personally like this movie, knowing that it still has flaws. And... I'm not oblivious to the fact that this movie has problems. Even the first time I saw this movie back in 2010, I was just like, there are certain things in this movie that are illogical, doesn't make any sense. And I'm just like, but still I like it because it's a science fiction alien invasion movie, okay? <laughs> but I can critique this film and say that there are problems with it, but there are a lot of people that critique this film to the death. And I'm just like, why it gets so low ratings and why people hate on this movie so much is bizarre to me. I have a friend that ended up seeing this movie with me one time uh, at the theaters when it came out in 2010. And he refuses to watch this movie again. I mean, I have a fun time watching this movie. It's a good popcorn flick for sure. Um, this film has amazing special effects. It can feel like every other type of alien movie that you have seen before. However, this movie does have unique acting, unique action. The CGI and the plot, they are all unique enough that it stands out amongst the crowd, in my opinion. All, all science fiction lovers will like this film. There's something in this movie that if you enjoy sci-fi, there's a small portion of this movie I guarantee you, you'll enjoy. You may not enjoy the whole film, but there's something in this movie I'm sure that you guys will enjoy. You care about what happens to all the characters in this movie. Both the good, the bad, the dumb, and the irritating. You care about the characters. This film focuses more on the characters being in one setting, which is some sort of like L.A. hotel complex. And it just expands on them with the invasion happening around them. It doesn't center so much on the invasion. Like, um, I guess the best way to describe Skyline would be it's kind of similar to Independence Day, where it focuses on the characters getting out of disastrous types of situations with the alien invasion happening and them trying to survive it. And then the alien invasion happening is just like little extra cake and cherry on top. I love the alien designs, the alien ships, and how the humans try to survive the invasion and how the military tries to fight them off is really cool. Um... This movie is also full of mystery, and it really doesn't waste your time. This movie immediately starts off with the alien invasion happening. It doesn't badger you to death with politics, drama, military quarantining, and all that stuff. The movie just like, here's the alien invasion. It's starting. They're sending down these blue bulbs of energy that are killing people. And boom. It, and from that point on, the movie just goes on full throttle. And it still is able to keep the alien invasion going along with a good mix of horror comedy and character development um the sound designers did a fabulous job in this movie and this film also really strives to focus on a major theme that parents will do whatever it takes to protect their family and a decade plus later after i've seen this movie four or five times the final twist in this movie is so unique and memorable and I wish more movies in this day and age in Hollywood would follow a unseen ending. Like most movies endings nowadays, they're so predictable and very bare bones. And I'm just like, this movie was cool and unique and you will not expect 
how this movie is going to end. If you haven't seen the movie, I highly encourage you guys just to like watch the ending, like five minutes of the movie. It's really a unique twist. Of course, it does leave the um, uh, Skyline series to be open for sequels. And I know there is a sequel, I just have no interest in watching it because to me this one is just, it's my favorite and I don't want to watch a sequel. So, yeah. Uh, for negatives, character names are unmemorable. It can feel like this movie should have just been direct, directly released on DVD and not be released in theaters. Um, this movie also is extremely cheesy. This film also has way too many tones. It can be cheesy, dark, and horror, and a bunch of other things all happening at once, and you're just kind of confused as to what emotion you're supposed to be invested in. So, yeah. Um, the film also, at times, can sound like it's using a sound design from a Michael Bay Transformer movie, especially during the very opening couple of minutes. I don't know if they did that on purpose or if they were allowed to do that, but, yeah, the soundtrack can be kind of weird at times. I was happy that the characters do get meaningful backstories, but how they all connect kind of was done poorly and executed poorly, in my opinion. Um, this movie, like I said, is PG-13. There's an overkill of language in here. So do keep that in mind. Um, mostly this film is kind of predictable and the big plot twists and revelations you can see coming a mile away. Um, except for the finale. The finale was the only thing I did not expect to see coming. Um, most of the trailer doesn't even show what happens in this movie. Like the trailer, if you watch the trailer for this movie, they're all like, you know, we send this probe into outer space and we shouldn't have done that because we got a reply and now they're coming for us. All that sending a probe into outer space stuff and them coming and replying back none of that happens in the movie it just is an alien invasion movie which i think is for the better so yeah it doesn't try to do something like battleship <laughs> which was terrible um this movie also at times can be very similar to transformers war of the world alien and a bunch of other films um and then lastly the biggest question i have for this film is if human brains are required to power up the alien robotic machines um Who's the person that launches the alien invasion? Because they have to use human brains to power up all these alien suits and alien robotic technologies and the ships and whatnot. If human brains are required to power up the alien ships and technology, who's in charge of leading the alien invasion all around the world? That never gets answered. Like, who, who actually is in charge of the alien invasion? So that was kind of, a, it's a big plot thing that never gets answered. Still, guys, if you guys enjoy science fiction movies, I think you guys will find something to enjoy in this movie. But if you're not into science fiction alien inva invasion movies, this movie is going to be very bare bones and very passable for you guys. With that, guys, I'm giving Skyline from 2010 a 6.5 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys all have a spectacular day. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream, whether it be here on YouTube or Twitch at Douglas447. Bye, guys.